Hey guys, this is John Hennessy. It's been a little while since I've been on a YouTube channel and I've got something really exciting that I want to share with you today. This is our uh, freshly delivered uh, Dodge Demon 170. We, you know, we thought about, okay, is this a car that we want to modify? It's collectible. They're not going to build very many of these. I'm like, but that's what we do. We, 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 we make fast cars go faster as we used to uh, tell our kids when they were little. So without further ado, we are announcing the Hennessy Demon 1700 Twin Turbo. So we are going to be taking the uh, my trusted assistant number one son, Don Patrick. Thank you very much. So you're looking at a pair of Precision um, 75, 76 um, turbos. So we're going to basically modify, I think it's probably, we're, it's gonna be a limited run. We're only gonna build a dozen cars. And again, given the collectible status of this car, uh, for the clients that want to do this with their Demon, we're going to completely take out the powertrains to the engine, the transmission, probably the drive shaft. We'll come out of this car, we'll go, we'll be shrink wrapped and go into a crate. So, whether it's my car or a client's car, it can be reverted back to stock at any point down in the future. So, we're going to replace the, the, the Demon engine with a custom built Hennessy engine without the supercharger but with twin turbo power. And we're estimating again with 1700 horsepower at the motor of the car being capable of running a 790 and 175 to 180 miles an hour in the quarter mile. So that's our big news. Uh, you'll, see, uh, you'll see more of that coming soon over the next several months. And uh, in the meantime, let's go out and have some fun with it stock and uh, drive it a little bit, get some driving impressions and uh, maybe spin the tires a little bit. Thanks for tuning in. selling it. I had that car for maybe six months. I, I really enjoyed driving it. It was kind of a cushy suspension. I kind of wonder if the Demon 170 could be just like, I think you could actually daily drive this. I don't see any reason why you couldn't. Be, you know, big, uh, lush, comfortable, you know, built for big guy type of car and still being able, able to go out and go and crack off an 890 the drag strip with almost 150 miles an hour. Pretty impressive. This thing is really, really fast. And even with sticky tires and even with the burnout, I was only I was only full throttle above probably 100, 110 there because I just felt like I don't want to end up in the ditch. Look, in conclusion, the Demon 170, in my opinion, this is my first drive. Um, it's the real deal. I, I think 
Some people might have viewed the original demon as a little bit of a paper, paper tiger. It was advertised as a 965 at 140 mile an hour car. And I think out of the box, the fastest we were able to go was a uh, 10 teen, a 10 0. You had to do work to those cars to get them to run a 960 had to put a tire on them and they needed more power. The Emo 170, this is a whole this is a whole different car. I mean, you're driving on the street and you got a full E85 and you're just gonna go punch it, you better be careful because it might just put you in the ditch, especially if you turn off the traction control. This thing is a tire spinning machine, it's got shit tons of power. Uh, it's got all the ability to run 150 mile an hour straight out of the box. We're gonna make it faster. Um, but uh, wow, what a fucking car for what I paid for this thing, 145 grand. We got the cardinal wheels and a few other options. And uh, this thing is a fucking hoot and it's fast. Um, bring on the fucking Teslas. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll race against my flat here for too long. All right, so in conclusion, she will do a gnarly ass burnout and uh, uh, we'll catch you next time. Here comes some tire smoke. Jackass at the cars and coffee and end up in the ditch like I almost did. See you next time.